Hello, filthy monkeys. Lord Frieza here, and you are watching Wolf Thunder Ranger. <laughs> so what is up, guys? Welcome to your Solar Ranger Orange Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Wolf Thunder Ranger. We're going to go over Solar Ranger Orange and all her interesting techniques and she is actually from the boon studio comics but there's just like one weird issue apparently apparently she is a cat so apparently edway thought it would be cool to make a shadow fighter based off that character for spd cat which is clearly the same character obviously that's the joke a anyways, but yes, uh, they are very funny company. I've never seen such a funny joke. Uh, we're gonna make a shadow fighter on top of uh, Cat Manx with the Cat Girl from the Solar Comics. But uh, yeah, I, it, it could work. But hey, we, I'm pretty sure this character is way better than Cat if you play her correctly. So apparently, she's doing a lot of the cat scratchers that Cat is. Maybe Cat was her mentor. Um, yeah, but Solar Ranger Orange seems to be getting some, like, hitboxing in. It's just a little bit tricky to do certain things. I mean, Cat Solar Ranger has always been... Solar Ranger Orange has always been that interesting character at the end of the day. The way her moveset worked and how certain things were supposed to work out for her. It, it, it'd be like that. It, it's just weird. Solar Ranger Orange always had some interesting techniques way back in the day. Like... Honestly, Solar Ranger Orange is really per good if you play her just right, you know, like, I would say, like, if you were to play this character, you gotta play her just like Cat Manx, obviously, because um, that's gonna help you get better uh, with this character in general, so you gotta make sure you know what you're doing with the character and how you to go about it. So, I kind of gave Solar Ranger Orange more of the... Um, Fast breakers and all that, and it looks like I just counteracted his uh, dragon shield. Apparently, like he thought doing dragon shield would be good, a good idea. So we're looking out for that. So we get some nice flips. Like I said, if we play it just like Cat, we could do a lot of things with this shadow fighter. Really, I'm so glad they put this shadow fighter in and didn't even bother using Boom Studio knowledge or coming up with a new move set for her. But they're like, hey, let's just make a shadow fighter. For a cat, and that's it. But it's okay. I mean, hey, Solar Range is pretty good. She's got that extra oomph if we play it just right. And you know what's really nice? Get the little combos in, get those little beatboxes in, and you can do anything you want. But bam! Jinji! Solo Ranger Orange kicking ass. So instead of trying to, you know, just come up with some new moves for Solar Ranger Orange, they decided, like, yeah, let's just copy and paste Cat Manx moves on, onto this character and stuff. Uh, Kind of funny, really, on how all this works. I mean, hey, I mean, I can't really tell this is a uh, cat ranger because she has a solar ranger mask, of course. So obviously, this isn't cat minx, silly gamers. So, like I said, we're using faster breakers to kind of maximize the potential of this. It's what makes her like interesting, uh, makes solar ranger orange interesting. And you know, we haven't really played a character like this in a long time since you know cat minx. So I thought it'd be nice. Just to kind of revisit this character, see uh, where she can be at at the end of the day. Usually it comes down to uh, what you can muster up without turtling. This kid, you know, Solar Rangers, oh, like a, Solar Ranger Orange is just a really, really decent character if you play her just right. And you know what? It really shows. You know, once you get those little insta things, you can always get your opponent. And that's what I've been doing this entire match. Always getting my opponent with the insta breakers because they don't see it coming. So I give them the old razzle dazzle. Bam! Somehow I got... See, Solar Ranger was... Only Solar Ranger could pull that off. Keep that in mind. Only Solar Ranger Orange could do that. Because she has the gift. I mean, so... I mean, listen. Solar Ranger Orange has has, all, has a lot of potential. Kind of still. I mean, if I was to rate her, I would say she's a little bit of a B right now. Because we got all these characters like Daggeron running around, Tommy... Uh, she has a little bit of a hard time on those types of matchups, depending. So you always got to be careful when it comes to that, uh, when you play this character in general. Because Solar Ranger Orange tries to do Solar Ranger Orange things, and it just... You just got to make sure you can do everything correctly with her, and that's about it. Because that's what makes Solar Ranger Orange, Solar Ranger Orange. 
The fact that that hit the range is amazing. So we got some poison, we got a kick in, and then we get a nice little kitty twirl. So we're trying to look out for that. Two no dice. Um, yeah, Silver Ranger Orange has a little bit of an issue when it comes to capitalizing the final hit, depending on your opponent's moveset. <sighs> that usually comes out to that type of preferencing, like, honestly. Like, I'm just taking hits after hits. It's, like, really hard to get that final hit with Solar Ranger Orange. It's not easy. But when you feel like it's easy, you would think you can get away with it, but you can't. Just not yet. But bam, we stop the kick, so we run away, so we don't have to deal with that bullshit anymore. But, yeah, that's pretty much how you uh, play Solar Ranger Orange. I mean, she has a lot of potential besides being, you know, a cat shadow fighter. But it's really nice to, you know, see some recommendations, but it just would have been nice to see a better, you know, move set for the character in general. Anyways, but eh, if we have to play like a certain character, we have to play like a certain character. It'd be like that sometimes, and it shows. Alright, so we're fighting Lunar Wolf. And we all know how bad Lunar Wolf is. Like, seriously, can't even really muster up anything in his um, go to uh, banana bananas there. I'm telling you, you can't really do much, and it, and it really just shows, man. With Bam, go for those little bitty attacks. Like, obviously, with Solar Ranger Orange, we try to chip away at the damage as much as we can with our breakers. We just gotta be careful. Like, this isn't really a good match for Solar Ranger Orange due to the fact that he does have a lot of strikes. So, we gotta try to capitalize our shields as best as possible and do certain combos, certain moves at certain points in time. That's what we're usually going for here, and that uh, really shows. Bam. Oh, we missed. You know, we call that baiting with Solar Ranger Orange. It'd be like that. Bam. We jump in the air. We dodge that and because we know what we're doing. We know what we want in the match. We know what we have to do. We got to look out. So we go for the little hitbox. Oh, we missed it, but we go for the breaker. We're building up some time. Bam. You think thought stay down soul ranger orange knows what she's doing anyways guys that's all we have for today y'all be good y'all stay safe we'll see you all another time peace out